Yo guys and welcome to my Premier League predictions 2017 to 2018. In 20th, I think Huddersfield Town will be relegated um, at the bottom of the league, mainly because they're not new to the they're they're new to the league. They don't know really how tough it is to be in the Premier League. So based on that fact, I really think that then they won't do as well um, as maybe another club as Newcastle as they've been promoted and they're quite used to the league and how it runs and how every other club is and everything that's good about the league. Um, so they're basically used to it. Whereas Huddersfield are not, so that's why they are 20th. Now, for the similar reason, Brighton are 19th. Um, I only put them above Huddersfield because they were the one, they ones that finished above Huddersfield in the, um, the championship. Um, so, yeah, that's... Um, Brighton's position mainly because they're not used to the league either. Now in 18th, I've actually got Burnley. Um, they did they did all right last season. Um, managed to stay up, which is great. Good 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 job, Sean Dyke 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 Shike. I don't know how the bloody arm's supposed to say it, but still. Um, 18th because I think I don't think they'll do that well this year. I mean, the top player is Joey Barton, like. You don't want to be a position where your top player is Joey Barton. That's just that's just animal cruelty and child abuse to every fan, Burnley fan that's out there, or every Premier League fan for having Joey Barton on the pitch. So for that reason only, it's going to be Burnley at number eighteen. Now for number seventeen, Swansea City, which is an interesting one. I haven't really seen them as active as all the other clubs in the transfer window. Um, I don't know why. Um, but I don't think their players are good enough to be higher up in the table. Well, if they are, they haven't really shown it last season. Um, so, yeah, that's why they're 17th. 16th, we have Newcastle. Um, new, Not new to the league, but they've just got promoted. Um, yeah, they did really well last season in the championship. Um, I don't think they'll fail again to go relegated again. They'll know the league pretty much, like, pretty well. Um, they'll know Swansea a lot because they're round the same area in the table. So, yeah. Newcastle at 16th. 15th, we have Stoke City. Um, now, I really think Stoke have made a loss with um, Jonathan Walters and Marco Alnatovic. Is it Marco Alnatovic? I don't know. But to me, those were the two best players that um, Stoke had and... Um, yeah, without them, I don't think they'll do as well as last season. 14th is West Brom, and I don't think... Well, West Brom can't be relegated. I mean, they've got Tony Pulis as their manager. Absolute legend. So, yeah, I think their players are quite solid. Not as solid as they could be, but they're quite solid. Um, so, yeah, West Brom at 14th, which is it's good. 13th, we have Bournemouth, which... They have just surprised me a lot. I mean, one one year they were in League Two, and now they're in the Premier League, finishing ninth. In last season was amazing for them. Ninth is an amazing finish for Bournemouth, um, a club at their standard anyway. The manager has done really well, and I think they've got some really good signings with Jermaine Defoe. So yeah, um, and at twelfth, Watford. Now they didn't have a great season last season compared to their first season that they had in the Premier League. But I've put them higher up just because I think they still have it in them. I think they're still a good team that could finish quite that high. I mean, if Bournemouth can finish ninth, why can't Watford finish 12th? I mean, really. I do highly rate Watford. 11th is Leicester City. Um, yeah, they're not, they're not going to do as well as they did two years ago when they won. Riyad Mahrez might be going. Um... Yeah, so I think Jamie Vardy's the only one that needs to save them, that ha that's there to save them. Um, and he better have a party for them to be 11th. Southampton a 10th, and I don't know why I've put them so low, but I just think that their best player is Virgil van Dijk, and so many teams have been after him. Like, we, Klopp, have been, Klopp has been tapping him up for so long now. He's probably going to sign him on deadline day so they can't get another centre-back. Um, so, yeah, I think that they won't finish as high. Virgil van Dijk's probably, probably going to go because um, he's not going to not stay at Southampton, which is a second-rate club. So, yeah. 
Good luck, Southampton, without your best defender. Ninth is Everton, um, just because of the loss of Lukaku. Um, yeah, I, I think Lukaku was very important with Everton. And Tony Hibbert as well. T Tony Hibbert was a very important part in Everton. I think they'll have two massive holes that, that, that sounded wrong. Shit, fuck no. Eighth is Crystal Palace. Don't get me wrong, Crystal Palace uh, are just a bit below Southampton usually in the table but Crystal Palace I've put eighth because I think they'll maintain that position um they always play great against Liverpool um they, they always they always get a good result it's always a high scoring match and I feel that Crystal Palace will do that with pretty much every good like top club in the Premier League this year so yeah eighth is Crystal Palace West Ham a seventh, and they have had some just amazing signings. Javier Hernandez, who I think is a great signing and fits West Ham. He just fits West Ham. Um, also, Joe Hart. They have he has gone to Joe, uh, to West Ham, hasn't he? I hope he has. Then you've got Pablo Zabaleta as well, which I think amazing. I think he still suits Man City, but West Ham is a bit of a downgrade for him. But I think he'll perform really great at West Ham. So yeah, seventh is West Ham, which I th I think they'll do actually really well in the season. Sixth is Arsenal. Sorry, any Arsenal fans, um, but I don't think your team will do that well this year. I mean, they've had a great signing of um, Lacazette, which I think was the only thing that will make them actually be sick. I'm pretty sure Sanchez is gonna leave the club because I don't think he'll stay at Arsenal. And I think there are much better teams that deserve higher finish than sixth. So yeah, Arsenal. A sixth. Manchester City um, are fifth because, yeah, I don't really. They've, they've got some good defenders now in Kyle Walker and um, Mendy, but I don't think Aguero will do that much this year as um, he did a few years back. Don't get me wrong, I think that they're, they're definitely a great club, but I don't think Pep Guardiola has the Man City touch that Pellegrini and Mancini had. So. Next is my top four, and this has been the hardest year to decide my top four. It's laggy. But this has been my hardest year, the hardest year to decide my top four. <sighs> Here we go. I'm sorry if I offend anyone. Tottenham Hotspur are fourth because, mainly because of Kyle Walker. I mean, he was a massive part of the team, um, and now he's gone. I don't think our, um, that they're going to spend that money on any other right back that that is good as um, Kyle Walker. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Tottenham fans. I'm sorry, Tottenham. Um, but you're fourth this year, in my opinion. Third is Manchester United because of Romelu Lukaku. I mean, he's an amazing player. He's played for my two rivals, but I still think he's an amazing player. Like, I'm not that biased, even though what's coming up. I mean, none of the other players really did it for Man U last year, so I don't think they'll do it for them this year. Um... I think Lukaku is going to be the best one for them this year. Second is Liverpool. This may seem like just because I support Liverpool. Oh God! Just because I support Liverpool, um, it it's that's why they've put them second. No, not at all. I wouldn't do that. Liverpool are second because I don't think Coutinho will leave. And with Coutinho, Salah, and Firmino at the top, at the at all at the front. With Mane by the side, I think that is a deadly combo. Probably more deadly than Hazard and Costa. I honestly think Salah would have a really good season. Um, if Coutinho says, which I really hope he does, please don't leave Coutinho. If you're watching this by any chance, don't leave to Barca. Because it's just going to be another Suarez thingy. I think the 125th year will really boost them to do something in this um, in this yeah and i think klopp is a really good manager i think it really suits liverpool um and i think he's capable of getting them to second place come on liverpool you can do it the winners are indeed um chelsea i think that they can achieve the same thing that they had last year um yeah that's basically just it i think antonio conta is a really good really really good manager um they have they have the players to win as shown last year um so yeah I think I think Chelsea will 
be the winners. Now we're gonna have the player rewards except the two thingies in the middle which aren't exactly players. The golden boot goes to Romelu Lukaku for me. Um, I think, he, as I said, you think he's an amazing keeper. Uh, wow. <laughs> Lukaku's not a keeper. I was reading the bottom thing, as you can see. Golden boot goes to Romelu Lukaku. Best keeper, Hugo Lloris. I think he'll do well. I just don't think Tottenham will get the points. I think he'll have a lot of clean sheets, though. Biggest surprise good is um, Crystal Palace. Um, as I said, they've got a massive boost from last season, um, mainly because I think they can do well against the top clubs. Biggest surprise bad is um, Arsenal, because of their quite high finishes usually, um, obviously they finished, they finished fifth, I think they fi yeah they finished fifth last year didn't they, um, so yeah I'm lucky Arsenal, and I think the person who would have surprised us all really, um, and had a good season for his standard would be Javier Hernandez um, of West Ham, in my perspective he's a really good player, um, and I just think that he will do really well in this season. I think he'll lead West Ham to good things, very good, very good things indeed. So that has been my um, Premier League predictions. If you disagree with anything, put it down in the comments. I, I want to see your opinion too. It's not just about me. Leave a like on the video because um, I'm a peasant. I need the like. Yet again, I apologise if I've offended any fans out there of the clubs that I um, I put down quite lower than they would maybe have ex been expected to be. Um, so yeah, at the end of the season I will be looking back on this and um, seeing how well I did. I probably did shite, but you know, you never know, really. That's going to be the end, um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace!